my friends is tack now recently I tested these bulletproof backpack panels from Platinum International Goods did it with a variety of pistol caliber calibers and uh, pistol caliber carbines as well now recently I just ripped these open and counted how far each caliber went and I was very surprised at my findings let's go over the data now some of this might surprise you some of it might not but it had 30 layers of Kevlar in one of those panels I didn't even know that till I ripped it open now the one that did the worst this kind of surprised me but not the 44 special with the lead nose now most of these bullets I did do full metal jackets so that's pretty much the best they're gonna do the only ones I could have used better ammo for the most part really was like 357 mag and 44 mag which I'll probably go back to that but this went through no layers not even the first one 44 special stopped right at the first level which surprised the heck out of me the next was the 22 long rifle out of the carbine that went through one layer that's it the next one was the 38 special uh, pistol that went through only one layer that's it next was the 38 special carbine that also went through only one layer of Kevlar. I was like, holy crap. I mean, totally impressed. Next was the 45 ACP. That went through only one level of Kevlar. Insane. Next was the uh, 9mm 115 grain full metal jacket. Pistol round. That actually went through two layers. Two layers. That's it. Next was the 40 s and w also went through two layers. After that was the 357 Magnum pistol. Went through three layers. Now like I said I could have used a better round than that which I, I probably will go back to it. And also went through three layers was the 44 Mag pistol that only went through three layers. And the next one after the 44 Mag was actually the 10 millimeter the 10 millimeter went through four layers of Kevlar. After that was the 9 millimeter carbine coming out of a carbine. I knew the carbines would do better. That also went through four layers. So same as the 10 millimeter pistol. But this next one is the one that really surprised the crap out of me. <clears throat> and that was the 357 SIG full metal jacket. For the standard pistol rounds, this actually went through the most, five layers of Kevlar. And the two calibers I thought almost went through really didn't. It really smacked the crap out of the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, computer, the laptop, but it wasn't as far as I thought. The next one was the 357 mag out of the carbine, went through six layers. Very impressive. But I, I thought it was closer to going through, but when I ripped the panels apart and started counting, it went through six layers. And after that, was the 44 mag carbine and that also went through six layers so not nearly what I thought because there's 30 layers in that panel and these all went through six now the ones after this these are the ones that really surprised me so out of all them calibers the 44 carbine 44 magnum carbine went through the most and then we have the little dinky FN 57 man this thing did a lot better than I thought. Now here's the ballistic tip, the little 40 grainer. That went through eight layers. So two more layers than the 44 mag carbine and the 357 mag carbine. The next one, I didn't think this one was do, do as good. The American Eagle went through 14 layers of Kevlar. After that was the SS 195. This is incredible. 25 layers out of 30. 25 with that little son of a beep. And the one that penetrated the most was the SS 198. Now like I said there was 30 layers of Kevlar in that panel. That went through 27 layers. 
So this really almost did go through. This was the closest by far. Just, I mean, this just the numbers. That last number is how many it went through. That's just incredible per caliber. The FN really is a little needle and a little badass. So in the end, this little FN round went through four times as many layers as the 44 mag carbine. That is just insane. I was just super impressed with the findings. I just kept going through the layers counting. I'm like, I can't believe that little son of a bitch went through as many layers as I did. And I know there's a lot more extreme rounds out than this thing, but for the for what I had so far, that thing was the baddest. That little FN really is like a mini rifle round. It's just, I'm so impressed by that thing. Now, I am gonna test some more extreme bullets like I said, most of the rounds I tested were FMJs, except for the 357 mag, 44 mag. So I want to try some extreme penetrators out of the carbine and the pistol, just to see how many layers we can get through. I'm sure it's not going to be nothing like that, but we'll give it a shot. And I am trying to get some cooler FN ammo, so stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you guys are doing good. And until the next time we meet.